Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christmas and we have family coming over. We did breakfast earlier, we exchanged gifts, and we have family coming over again for dinner. They requested that I make my ribs. I made it for Thanksgiving, everybody loved it, and they asked that I make it again. But what do you do when you don't have that much time to make such meal or such dish where it's falling off the bone? I got a little tip from my grandmother-in-law and honestly, it's the best thing ever. Honestly, you can make ribs that fall off the bone like the chefs do without going through all that trouble and wasting all that time. They'll be here like in a half an hour to an hour and a half. So I don't have that much time to actually sit there and cook the ribs from like in the oven. It's going to take way too long, right? So you're going to fast forward this or we're going to speed this process by using a pressure cooker. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's great. Trust me. Your family will be applauding you for some chef kits ribs okay so join me as we make this ribs and i'm gonna see you let's go we're using pork ribs and not beef no specific reason i'm not against either i just got what was there so this is already cut great honestly you could buy your already cut but the thing is when you buy already cut they charge you more just so because they, they did the work but this really honestly you could pay less for, and it doesn't take that long to do the work. So I just cut wherever the bone is, I just cut in between. Okay. I always don't don't cut too close to the bone because you want to have some meat, right? I don't want to be sucking on bones all day. And I sharpen my knife before I dip this because the most annoying thing is to be cutting meat with a dull knife. Like nobody have time for that. I told you before that I do want the Japanese knife. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas Christmas wishes next year. Maybe. I don't know. It's like a thousand dollars sometimes. It, it can be get very expensive for the good ones. That thing is so sharp. If you don't know how to cook and you just learn, please don't get that. Next thing you know, you're going to have an extra ingredient, aka your fingers, in the food. Don't let me have time for that. So I bought two. I'm not sure how many people's coming, but I bought two to be safe. Flip that thing on there. Honestly, this is taking us less than 10 minutes to do. And you pay less money. One thing I've been realizing, people would really make money off of our laziness, okay? They would charge you more money because we're lazy. That's why Uber, Uber drivers can make so much money. Because people are lazy. Well, this baby ain't that lazy. I'm going to cut it myself and save my money, okay? Remember my favorite bowl? Listen, she does everything. 45 minutes to get this baby ready. I don't know. Some people don't wash their meat. That's kind of weird. Wash your meat. Don't be weird, okay? This is already washed. This is the pressure cooker. I'm going to use is the hot pot best thing the best thing <laughs> created by man it is so good it cooks everything guys everything okay rice it could be a rice cooker it could be a pressure cooker you could you could actually broil meat in here okay you they say you can make yogurt i don't know how that works i haven't tried it i mean i like yogurt but not that much i'm going to make it um, but I got this from Macy's. My mother got it for me earlier this this year. It was on sale for hundred dollars. Listen, it's like four and one, okay? Yeah, I like to wash things in hot water because hot water breaks things down quicker as compared to cold water that solidifies. Why should we eat, right? Why should chickens? We don't eat red meat like that. I don't cook it like that. It's like a lamb and this for special occasions. But when you cook red meat, so just so you don't have any cross contamination, make sure that you actually thoroughly clean your um, bowls or utensils that you use to make that red meat with so you don't cross, cross contaminate any of your things, okay? Then I'm going to fill it up with hot water. All the way to the top to so make sure that each rib is getting the love that they need. And obviously, going to shrimp once the water comes out. I make sure to see that I'm not going past the maximum limit, which I did. So, you can take them out. Good, because you don't want them to overflow. All right. So, we're not going to put all our seasoning in. We're not going to put all our dough. But we're not doing all that. Right now, we're just going to put our salt. So, when it's cooking, the salt can actually seep into the meat itself. So, when you bite in, your seasoning is not just sitting at the surface. But it's actually embedded in the muscle. Oh, that sounds weird. In this, in the meat itself. So, this is iodine sea salt because you need iodine in your system, all right? I want to just use my hand to measure. Okay. I, I find that when I go in with the spoon to put in my salt, I end up using too much. So I like to use my hand. 
I'm just gonna stir it. You're gonna put like all African people would do. Put some to taste. Not bad, right? So we put it. And then they could put gar garlic in. Put garlic in it. So, not too much. Just enough. And the reason I'm not putting too much because I'm going to put season on top of it um, when I, before I throw it in the oven, right? So it makes no sense to overpower this with, seed, um, with salt. Then add season. Then you don't have too much salt. I mean, hypertension is a real thing. We're not trying to get people that. Let's take out our pressure pot or the, or the instant pot. That's what it was, the instant pot. And with this, what I like to do is because it's electric and you, this is how you keep your items long, you know, the electric and water don't mix well i always wipe the bottom before you put it in the pot so you can put it in the pot baby's heavy you can close it and what are we going to do now we are going to put you have soup broth meat stew bean chili poultry we are going to put in pressure cook and it's going to pressure cook for 35 minutes on high pressure and once it's finished pressure cooking boom it's on we're going to take it out we're going to put out the rest of our seasoning in there. And then we're just going to put it in the oven for like 10 minutes. Just so the barbecue sauce and the other seasoning could just really stick to the meat. Because honestly, this does all the cooking. The rest in the oven is just uh, trying to get the other um, sauces to just stick on the meat. And that's it. I'm going to see you after 35 minutes. Okay? And now, a brief intermission. May I help you, sir? How much for order of ribs? Uh, two fifty. Two fifty. How many ribs do I get with that? Uh, about five. Five. So I guess that's about fifty cents a rib, huh? Yeah, about. Let me get one. Right on. One order. One order ribs. No, 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 no. One rib. One rib. I sure am hungry. Okay, so now we are back. Um, it was more than 35 minutes. It actually, it was like 35 minutes and the 20 minutes added. So I just said a whole hour. Now I'm about to open it and you'll see how soft it already is before I even pop it in the oven. Come, let's see. Ooh. Look, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mm, see? Shorty can't even stay up. Okay, so we're gonna take all of this out. And then we are going to season it. I'm going to keep the bones in there too. Because some people like to chew the bones, okay? I am some people. Some people is I. I'm already preheating the oven. Check to make sure you ain't leave no babies in there. Oop. Almost left one. See another one. Uh-huh. Get your money's worth, okay? We're going to leave this back here. Let's pull out what we are going to need. I'm using adobo like I showed you before. Add a double. Try not to OD. We got we got our all just coming. I like to put all the um, finer ingredients first, and then add my bigger ingredients. So this is the herbs and garlic. Okay, and we are going to take this to mix it. All right, try not to shred it too much. All right. Let's try using this because I don't want to be shredded. Right. I'm going to add some olive oil in this pan. Not too much, just so it doesn't stick. If you use this for that, it is possible. I'm gonna take that and drop it in here. It is hot. We just gonna bake that baby in barbecue sauce. Okay. And then the 
this and making sure it's extra, extra barbecue-y. Wanna make sure the barbecue is barbecuing. And they're gonna throw them in the oven, okay? Yeah. And then we're done. I also put olive oil in the pan. And what I usually like to do after this is eat what's left. Because it's mad good. Mm-hmm. The cameraman also wants some. Right there, the hubby. Okay. So good. So good. It's not too salty. It's not overwhelming. That's why I like and then you get the hints of garlic right under under the initial taste, which is the seasoning. That's how I love putting the um, um garlic in as it's cooking. So, yeah, man. So, that's how you make ribs fall up the bone in a short amount of time. So, I would say all of, us, all of it took us about an hour and a half. So, yeah. So, after this is done, we're going to see how it looks, okay? So now we are just going to transfer our ribs into a presentable container. And the thing I like about the pressure cooker is like it really just cooks the meat for you. The oven and afterwards is just to get the barbecue, you know, or um the barbecue to really marinate. That's really it. That's why 10 minutes just worked perfectly because the cooking is already done. We are done and then take that long. And yeah, try this ribs for any function for yourself for any party or you just like i want ribs tonight for dinner with whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope the tips work i hope if you don't have a pressure cooker you could just try boiling it on the pot i never tried it but i'm assuming it will work the same way probably not as quick as a pressure cooker but boiling it and making sure that you are really adding the water so you can quick cook quicker so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to comment and subscribe and if you have any recipes that you are great at or you found that like, you make that you know that's great please do not hesitate to share we are going to be we are one big family so sharing is caring okay thank you for watching and have a happy new year bye